Hi, I just got through using AND to clear bits. Now I'm going to talk about using OR to set bits, to turn on selected bits. That means change them from zero to one, or if they're already one, they'll just stay one. So what we want to do is create a mask by putting ones in places to set and zeros in places to keep, kind of the opposite of what we did with AND. If we OR one with anything, the result is a one, of course. So if we want to create a mask to set bit one in a one byte number in AL, we put a one in that spot and zeros everywhere else for the bits to keep. Now we can perform uh, the operation and apply the mask. If this is the original number and we want to set this bit, we have a one there and we use or. So one or zero is one, zero or one is one, one or zero is one, zero or zero, 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 one or one is one. So we've set this bit, the zero becomes a one, and we kept the rest of these bits. Here's another example. Create a mask to set bits seven and four. So we wanna put a one in those spots. So we put a one in the spot for bit four and a one in the spot for bit seven. And the, those are the bits we wanna set. But the, the bits we wanna keep, six and five, we put zeros there. Three, two, one, and zero, we put zeros there. And that's our mask to set bits seven and four. Now, if we apply our mask, here's our mask with the ones in bit seven and four, and here's the original number. And we're going to use or. One or zero is one, one or zero is one, zero or zero, zero, zero or zero, zero, zero or one is one, one or zero is one, zero or zero, zero, zero or one is one. So we've set this bit and this bit, and we kept these two bits because that's where we had the zeros. We kept these four bits because that's where we had the zeros. And we can use setting bits as you probably guessed to do some practical things. We can convert a numerical digit to an ASCII digit, kind of the opposite that we did before. With AND, we saw that we could change an ASCII digit to a number. Now we want to, by taking, by zeroing out bits four and five, now we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to convert a numerical digit to an ASCII digit by putting the ones back in. So if we're working with ASCII one, the binary is 0011001 or 31H. The number one, 0000001. So to go from this, the ASCII digit to the number one, we just have to put the ones back in. So that's fairly easy to do. We just need a mask with ones in those spots and zeros everywhere else. So we create our mask with ones in the four and five spots, put zeros in the bits to keep, and now we can apply our mask. If this is the original one, we or it with our mask, we put ones back in, we put the three back in, 
and we end up with this five and four set for our 31 H. We can also use or to convert an uppercase character to lowercase. To convert an uppercase character to lowercase, just set bit five. This is the opposite of what we did with and, where we cleared bit five to go from lowercase to uppercase. Now to go the opposite way, to go from uppercase to lowercase, we just have to set bit five. For example, let's convert uppercase A to lowercase A. It's pretty simple. First, we just create a mask with one in bit five and zeros everywhere else. So here's our mask, here's bit five. Put a one there, put zeros in places to keep. Now we can apply our mask. Here's the binary for the letter A. Here's our mask with the one in the set bit five. So this is the bit we're gonna change. And when we get done, here's our binary with one in bit five. We ordered it to put the bit back in. And you can also do it, of course, to convert any uppercase character. A to Z by using the same method, just set bit five to go from uppercase A to lowercase A, uppercase Z to lowercase Z. You can use, also use AND or OR to test a register because if you OR a number with itself or AND a number with itself, the number doesn't change, but it sets the flags. This is another way to check for zero. Instead of compare AL0, just use AND. or use OR. And and the register with itself or OR the register with itself, and that sets the flags. And then the zero flag would be set. You could do a jump zero or a jump not zero. Also the sign flags would be set. So if AX contains a negative number, you could do a jump sign. Or if it contains a positive number, you could do a jump no sign. This concludes our discussion of using OR to set bits.